Hello everyone and welcome once again to Where Am I? And today I am back up at the allotment plot. Uh, in the last video you would have seen that we planted and moved the rhubarb and in this video we're looking to move the gooseberry bushes and the and the uh, sorry and the raspberry bushes. And today we've been to the shop and bought an autumn raspberry bush which is there. And the reason for this is we're looking to put the gooseberries together in one bed, summer raspberries together in another bed, and we had one autumn raspberry plant. So we wanted to mirror it up, so we went to the garden shop and bought one to match the one that we've already got. And I'm gonna put these in the ground right now. We, we're gonna have to move them first, but we're gonna dig them up and move them. And it's all done, with, obviously with being blind, uh, by feel. So if you're thinking of getting into gardening and you're visually impaired or blind yourself, um, like me, you can do this just by taking your time, taking it nice and slow, and just feeding your way, and you'll be fine. So uh, that's enough of that. Or Let's having a me. Or having a me. Oh, oh or yeah. Having or, a me. Or, or having a, a, a loving wife that can help you. Okay. Right, dear people, uh, the next job that we're going to do is clear this area here. Now, Jen's already weeded it, which is fine, but we planted raspberries and gooseberries in here. Um, and we don't want the raspberries and gooseberries here, we want to put them elsewhere. So the next stage that we want to do now is prep the beds that they're going to go into and then move them. And again, moving these plants you can do between um, November and, uh, and March as well. So it's a good time of year to move these. Uh, the raspberries and the gooseberries are quite dormant at the moment, same as the, as the, uh, as the rhubarb. So let's crack on. Right, so as we can see, Jen's already started work on clearing the uh, the weed membrane and any loose weeds that might be in these no dig beds um, and, uh, so jen's doing one i'm going to do the other remove everything and get the plants moved into their new home fantastic right as you can see uh, jen and i have cleared the well most of the weeds there's a few um going around the perimeter of the uh of the beds but this bed here well all the beds on this sort of part of the plot these are no non-dig no dig and um they've been covered up for coming up to about a year and you can see how great this is it's lovely um so that's fantastic and what we're going to do as we have gooseberry plants and raspberry so in this one over here somewhere um we're going to go gooseberry two gooseberry plants so they've got plenty of room to spread out raspberry in this one raspberry in the next one um so we've got a nice area of fruit and they've got plenty of room to to spread out grow and um yeah jen's gone to get a trowel we're going to dig some hose put in some fertilizer and then we'll We'll get the uh, the plants and get them ready over, ready to uh, to be planted in. Right then, dear people, Jen is digging up the raspberry plants um, before doing the gooseberries. Um, lucky enough, two of the goo uh, sorry, two of the raspberry plants which are over here somewhere, I've got their label still, um, so you know which ones they are because we did buy three last year. Um, two being summer fruiting and one being autumn fruiting um so we know which ones are which and um the way i would like it to go is um the the summer ones go together and the autumn ones uh go together um so that's that's the plan of action but we're just gonna dig up the rest of them and move them which then will open up this area for us to grow something which we'll tell you a little bit about later Right, now that we've dug out the raspberry plants, we're now going to plant them in their new house. Um, so these ones are summer variety ones. Yeah. And they need staking and wiring, like the same as the blackberries. Has this one got a label? Yeah, that's a label. that The other summer one hasn't got a label, it's gone missing. Okay. So, put the trowel in and just scrape it away. Like so. I'm going to measure that to make sure it's in the right area. Yeah, this needs to be a bit deeper. Oh, 
Get your hands in. Do you take it out of your hands? Yeah. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> oh. You tell I normally do it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You don't need to use that. Use your hands. You only need a little bit. Too much. That's it. That's enough. Oh, that's now you need to water it. Where's my watering can? Behind you. There's no water in it. You haven't done that oh, yet. Right. You're not very good at the prepping, the, oh, well. prepping yourself before you start work, are you? <laughs> right, now that we've put the fertiliser in it and I managed to find the watering can in the tap, I'm going to give it a little drink. And his hand by the looks of it. That's enough. That'd be enough. No. And then no. plonk in. Oh, raspberry. Don't. Make sure we don't bury the uh, the sign of it and just push it. It's a Glen Owl pit pen or something like that, I think it is. Push the compost in and around it. Gently pass it down. There we go. Cool. Lovely job. And then. We'll put that one in. If you want to have a look at that. Is that the right way around or have I got it facing me? No, that's right. Yeah? Yeah. There's Natalia getting some water for her pond. And the sun is slowly starting to set here. One last job. And Jen is on the last job, which is clearing the last raised bed, the no dig bed. Um, from the weed membrane and just a few little weeds that's grown around the edge um, So now I can give you a little bit of a, a tour of how the allotment is going to look um, Obviously it needs to be tidied up and we'll do that before we go home, but down in this corner here we have the rhubarb Our rhubarb patch right next to the fruit trees and in the plot opposite us she's got her rhubarb so our rhubarb and her rhubarb right opposite each other so you kind of think if she and she does really well with her rhubarb so you i'm kind of thinking or hoping that that will be mirrored there so the plant that we showed you at the beginning uh, the one that we bought uh which i've called i've named this one bert and the other one's going to be called arnie um we're going to put this one in now so again all i want to do is just scrape the compost away from this no dig bed and I think it's got quite a big root on it this one just by the size of the pot so we're just gonna oh, put some amph in it we're ah. just making a slope come on right. yeah and now just use my hands to have a little feel oh, it's so dry. Can you just the, the children are still going on their pond. Children are still making their pond. There we go. So, just feel with your hands. Just take your time. Feel with your hands the whole time. So you know what's what. I think I need to take a bit more out there. Why don't you dig it out? Because apparently it's better to slope it out. I just want to see will that go in. It's about right, isn't it? So right, by the time you mush the roots of it. Yeah, take a tiny bit out over there. A bit out over there. That'll be enough. There we go, that should be fine. Now, oh. I hate this bit. We use chicken fertiliser um, and it stinks. So just get some in your hand. Find that hole. There it is. Sprinkle it in, like so. Do you want a bit more gen or do you reckon that's fine? No, right? that's enough. And then, where's the watering can? There's the watering can. Spout. Let's take that off a sec. Um, I'm hoping that's going in. Pull the can back a bit. Yeah, that's fine. And now, the plant, which is here. I absolutely adore raspberries, so having some raspberry plants here is lovely. Turn it upside down, little tap, pops off. There we go, find the hoe. Gently now, 
put him in. Move the compost or the earth that you've dug up around. Secure in the plant. Making sure he beds in really well. A little push down. There we are. There we have it. Oh, we just need and to put some manure around his. We will put this sign there. Which that one is the same as the other winter uh, autumn run. Yes. So we went to the shop, bought the same plant again, so we know which rhubarb one. Uh, sorry, which raspberry ones we have. The the autumn raspberry, which is fantastic. So from the summer right up to November we'll have some lovely fruit hopefully this year um, just need to get the stake the metal stakes in that out and wire yeah. it up obviously we need to build a frame for it um, but what we're going to do now is we'll just sprinkle a little bit of manure around it give it one more feed of water and um, yeah good to go and we'll just get a frame made in the in the uh, in the coming days so as you can see now it's really starting to take shape um yes so you come in the gate and you got the rhubarb there then the first raised bed here opposite each other is gooseberries uh one is red the other one's black gooseberry um we know this just because of the box but they don't have a uh, they didn't come with a label so we don't know which one's which where we planted it but it's okay we know one's red um and one's one's black um, and then the next one up are the summer raspberry fruits together uh, which is fantastic I'm hoping I'm getting this in shot for you and then um, the next bed up again is for the autumn raspberries so we have all our berries together gooseberries summer raspberries autumn raspberries the bed let's go up and have a look oh. uh, yeah what are you gonna do yep we go up with Jen as she plants the last oh, as she plants the last raspberry bush wherever she may be Jen so she's here somewhere get a shot of her bum <laughs> sorry Daisy uh, Jenny um, <laughs> so here she is planting the autumn raspberry um, now, there's a reason for our planning here. Um, so, raspberries and gooseberries are quite prickly plants. Um, so, they are twinned together. So, autumn, one there. Summer raspberries, and then the gooseberries, as I've said. Okay, and then we should have a raised bed here somewhere. Um, now, this one is going to be completely strawberries. All strawberries, this one. And... Eight pound a week on strawberries for the children. Yeah, the children eat strawberries like there's no tomorrow's. So, the, hang on, sweetheart. Um, so, strawberries are going to go here. And the reason for that is because those bushes are quite prickly and the children are in this bed, we don't want them right next to the prickle bushes. So, this way, they've got the strawberries between them and, and the... Um, and the bushes so uh, that is how the plot is looking with the uh, rhubarb down there we've got a fawnless blackberry bush by the trees fruit trees and then all along the back edge there um, and there is a new plant in there somewhere which is all black currants um, which is absolutely brilliant but by moving those plants and potato alley this area now becomes available for us to grow in and we'll tell you a little bit more about that later but as we've been working hard so have the children and what have you two been building a pond, a pond right two ponds connected bin liners yeah as bin bags as liners as liner yeah yeah and then we put like a little stone to, for the animals to go in and out lovely so they've used bin liners to keep the water in and they put stones there Oh, sorry, sweetheart, for the animals to be able to get in and out. Where is your pond? Oh, it's by the edge of the 
Yeah. What, over this side? Yeah. Keep going right. Yeah. Where is it then? Um, Let's have a look. Right. There's the middle. Oh gosh, that's cold. I know. Oh yeah. Oh, oh gosh, that's quite deep, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. flipping freezing. Yeah, that's shadow. Uh, oh, so we've got a shallow one. Yeah. And, uh, that's, that's medium. That's, that's medium. That's yeah. Medium. And that's your deep end. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so the animals So the animals can have a little swim. So yes, the children have made a very thoughtful yeah, pond. Just... We'll have to get some fish in there. Uh, seriously. <laughs> Miss, Mr. Yeah. O'Malley will be happy with that. Um, <laughs> Where's that lion there? Dad, <laughs> can I get Mr. O'Malley? Can I get Mr. O'Malley? Can I get Mr. O'Malley? Go on then, go and get Mr. O'Malley. But you have to put him on the edge. You can't put him in there. Aww. Yes. Gonna put Mr. O'Malley by the edge. He's already got a fish on his hook. <laughs> Where are you gonna put him? Mr. O'Malley. Put him in. Somewhere. I'll put him in the deep end. Put him in the shallow end and he'll be alright. Seriously. Having a little fish. Yeah. <laughs> right, stand back. I don't know if I've got this in shot. But um Good boy, Mr. O'Malley. No, you got wet hands, so there? Yeah. There we are, Mr. O'Malley. In his boat in the lake, yeah, so at catching a fish. <laughs> what a wonderful yeah. day it's been for for the family coming up here and do it, making their ponds, and Jen and I getting the the fruit side really, really organised and and yeah. going the way it's meant to be going. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as as much as we are. Um, and please do subscribe. It is completely free of charge. And follow us on our journey because we've only just started on the fruit side, and we've still got all of this to go including the polytunnel and the shed and these bins here as well so so much to go and so much to do so much to learn so please please do smash a like and uh, and subscribe um no the polytunnel we need to grow in sweetheart um so yes yeah, so please do smash a like and a subscribe it is free of charge and we'd love to have you along for the journey um, and sometimes I'm up here with the children, other times it's just Jen and I, or it's me on my own, which when I'm on my own, it's a lot more peaceful, that's for sure. <laughs> right, dear people, um, so obviously this is our plot here. The plot next to us, uh, the young lad that had that one came in today and told us that he's given it up, uh, which was a shame, actually, because he had young children too, uh, but he just didn't have the time with work. Um, but what he did say is, help yourself to whatever you can find, and uh, Jen has gone over there and found new fork. a new fork, a hoe. a hoe, so that means we've got two now, so it's no excuse for you not doing anything. Oh gosh. And some cutters. And some cutters. So uh, lovely. So flamingos and some tools. Happy, happy days. And a massive thank you to that gentleman. Right, everyone. Thank you very, very much for joining us today. Um, it's been a wonderful day up at the allotment with uh, with the family, and it feels really good to get those plants in the ground. The rhubarb where it is uh, from last time, uh, having the each individual bed for the for the for the gooseberry and the raspberry plants. It's fantastic, and it really feels like it's coming together now. And as I said at the beginning of the video, seriously, if I can do this, then you can do this. So get out there and enjoy life, because that's what we're here to do: is enjoy our life and get out and live. Um, and having such a place, I find it gives me back my independence and freedom, which is so important and, and it's so lovely. You can't put a price on it. Um, to all those that have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. It is completely free of charge. And uh, we'd like, we'll love to have you along for the journey of uh, watching this blind guy try to do some gardening and hopefully get a nice harvest this year. Um, so yeah, so thank you very, very much. Thank you for all your lovely comments. Keep them coming. And uh, yeah, until next time, bye for now.